Hey, what is wrong with you? You went over that same chance so many times, I thought you were gonna burn it off. Pay attention. It's not my fault your hair's so nappy. I gotta go over it like 10 times. You gotta hurry up. You gotta be at work soon. I'm gonna be there when I want to be there. I'm quitting anyways. You're yeah, quitting? You have another job to go to? Well, I'm gonna open up my own salon. What knowledge do you have of running a business? Mama. And what do you what money do you have to do this with? I know plenty about how to run a business, and I still got a lot of money left from when I was. Uh, Louis, take the kids to the bus stop. I'm kinda tied up here. Now? It's still early. I said go now. Go with Louis, go bye bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye, Bye. What did I tell you about using that word in this house? I'm sick and tired of pretending like it didn't happen. You gotta try. I don't want the kids hearing that word and thinking that it's okay. I was a pimp, not a murderer. But it was wrong. It was morally wrong. Ay, Victoria, I pray for the salvation of your soul every day. At least stop preaching to me. You know I don't give two shits what God thinks. Now turn around so I can finish your hair. You know what? I'm glad that you went to prison for it. Maybe this way you'll have time to think about things and look at ways to improve your life. What are you doing this Sunday? This Sunday? I think I'll go join the convent. And then next Sunday, Maybe I'll go do some missionary work in Africa with some of my nun friends. I am not gonna give up on you. Pray, pray, pray. That's what Jesus advises. Whatever. Us. We gotta go. We're gonna be late. Didn't sound like you cared much about a minute ago. Annalise, vamanos cha! Don't think I'm gonna forget this conversation. Can I get a pack of those cigarettes? <sighs> Hello? I'll be getting this, too. Oh, my God. When did you get out? A couple of months ago. You've changed some. Yeah, um, I had a couple babies, so that's how I got this fat, but... Mm. You still look great, though. Oh, yeah, you know, I always gotta keep my hair tight. 61. That's my secret. 6150. Thanks, Mama V. 
You were always really good to me. Mama V is always there for her girls, honey. It was a gray hair. So, you take the bus? Um, yeah, the 22. Me too. Do you mind grabbing my bag for me? You know how I feel about my nails. Hey, I really appreciate you paying for my stuff. What are you up to now? My husband's the one who works now, so I just get to stay home with the kids and do whatever I want to do while they're at school. It's, it's good, no pressure. So, what are you doing these days? Not pimping, that's for sure. You know, my husband could probably help you. He works for one of those agencies where he helps people get jobs, and you know, during this recession, it's amazing how many people he's helped. I mean... Where's my money? What money? That money. Look, I didn't take your money. That was a mad long time ago, too. Well, one of y'all's did. You know me, I would have never had any part of that. And who you should be worried about is Sarah. Remember how she used to always be reading books and talking about how she was gonna leave? And anyhow, I was talking to Alice, remember the one whose eye twitched a lot? Yeah, and she was telling me that she saw Sarah driving a real nice car when you were locked up. We were all dead broke while you were in prison, so where'd she get the money to drive a car like that? I think Alice still works at Doyle's. Hey, where are you going? The bus is coming. I'm gonna do something I should've done a long time ago. Coincidence how we happen to run into each other here? Look, what are you doing? I don't even know who you are. Sarah, don't act like you don't know who I am. Sorry, I got you mixed up with somebody else. Something wrong? You don't look too good. Something um, up in school? It was a half a day. Is that what I should tell your mother when I tell her you were home from school at one o'clock today? School is just stupid. I hate it. 
you hate it or just the people in it? It's just the kids in my class. They think they're so much better than everyone else, and then they mess up everything for everyone else. Everyone? Or just you? Just me. There's this one kid in my class who thinks he's like the leader, and he tells everyone who follows him to bother me. I hate that kid. But just ignore him. If you let it show that they're bothering you, they're only gonna do it more. I tried doing that. I can't even concentrate anymore. I'm failing math. This is really bad, Lewis. That kid needs a good kick in the ass. Don't ever let me hear you say that word. Wait, you want me to hit him? Hit him? You need to punch that mother in the face. That way, every morning when he looks at himself for the next few days, he'll know you ain't the person to mess with. Did your mom ever tell you what I went to prison for? No. Did you kill somebody? Do I look that scary to you? It was for pimping a minor. Wait, what? Yeah, I know, right? She told me she was 19. How was I supposed to know she was only 16? Hold on, you were a pimp? Yep, and I was better than any male pimp in Boston. Just say my name to any hoe on the street and she'll shit her pants. Don't ever let me see you on the street with a hoe. Thank you, Papa. And you know what? None of them other pimps wanted to mess with me either because they knew it was coming to them if they did. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Don't tell me you got fired again. I told you I was quitting. You got money to be quitting like that? You know, you gotta get your own place soon. The landlord's not gonna keep believing this whole I'm here on vacation thing. I told you, I got this. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're not thinking of going back to... Pimping? <sighs> you told him. Did you not hear anything I said this morning? It's not like me knowing is gonna infect me with pimpness syndrome. <sighs> well, what are you doing here home so early? There was a gas leak in the school. I got you a new hair dryer. Well, it's about time. I've had to replace I don't know how many because you break every single one you bring. What the heck happened? You broke it? You just got it. I dropped it on the way over here. I'll get you another one. I'll take that one. Dios, historia. I'll get my own. Louis, watch out for the school bus. The kids will be dropped off in a bit, okay? Started dating. 
Maybe he'll help you get back on your feet. Not dating. Just going out with someone at the bar. It's not one of your old friends. No, just someone from the grocery store. Well, be careful. I'm going back to bed. Some of us have to work in the morning. Tattoo on your back. Old lover? Yeah. Who was he? Hey, if you want a little piece of that ass, I can get it for you. It'll be 500. I'm just playing with you. Hey, stop standing there like you've just seen a ghost. Give me my drink. What are you doing here? What do you know about Sarah? Sarah? Don't act stupid, girl. I, um, I haven't I haven't seen her since since you got out of jail. What was that? What? Your eye. It still twitches. I remember when your eye used to twitch like that. You know something about Sarah. I told you I I don't know anything. I heard she was driving around in a real nice car. What? She must be getting some rich ass clients, or maybe she's got my money. What? I said that bitch has my money. Sarah wouldn't do something like that. What makes you so sure? You too tight like that? What? No. Alice, you suck at lying. Just tell me how I can get to Sarah. All I know is that she, she moved to Roslindale. Um, I think she married, she got married to some guy, but they think they eventually, they got separated. I don't care then, about that. Just tell me how I can get to her. That's all I know. Alice, come here. Sit in this chair next to me. Do you remember when you were 17? You used to sleep outside of State Street Station in the freezing cold? Who came and got you out of there and bought you a nice dinner? You did? And what else did I do? Give me clothes and a, a place to stay. And? And a job. And here you are, giving me a hard time with a simple question. I had a dream of opening up a salon with that money. And after all I've done for you, you bite my hand? I was expecting you to help me. Shit, can't I at least get that in return? And to think, I was gonna let you work in my salon. Wait, she lives at 265 Harlington Street in Roslindale. Write it down. So then it means I got the job? Tits are sagging. I can't have your saggy ass tits hitting my clients' heads. Hey, Sarah, it's Alice. Um, I just need you to call me back right away. It's urgent. Did you have anything to do with this? Time is it. 
Hello? Answer my question. Oh my God. I can't stop yelling at me. My head is pounding. That's what happens when you get drunk, Miha. Deal with it. Did you tell Lewis to t get that kid in his class? Get me some painkillers. I can't talk like that. No, not until you tell me how my son suddenly became a delinquent. Just because he got into a fight don't make him no delinquent. Every kid gets into at least one fight. Not my son. I didn't raise him like most kids. Your son was a wimp until today. That kid was not gonna stop bothering him until he did something about it, and now that kid will not bother him again? You are not his mother. I was gonna talk to that principal today and deal with this in a civilized way. Please, you were gonna just go up there snitching and make things so much worse. My idea was so much better. I am not one of your little whores, so don't you think for one minute that you're gonna come in here and try to run things. I am the head of this household. If you don't like it, get out. Fine. I need to get out of here anyway. You are so suffocated. You don't know it, but you're suffocating Lewis too, and before you know it, he's gonna wanna get out of here too. I want you out of here in 30 minutes. to your mom. You did really good today. I'm sure that boy won't be bothering you again. You should have seen the look on his face. Oh man, it felt so good to hit him. <laughs> yeah, but you know that was just for defense. You can't be running around just hitting anybody. Wait, where are you going? Can I visit you? Don't worry, I'll come visit you. Papa, can you hide this stuff in your room for me? It's something I really gotta take care of. I'll come back and get it later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Ma, I'm gonna run and get some milk. Can you believe I just got laid off? The nerve of those motherfuckers after working there for so long with them and busting my ass. Shit, Sarah, I'm so sorry. Just get me a shot of whiskey. So did you, did you hear my message? I lost my phone yesterday. Why, what's up? Mama V, she's out and, and she knows. What, how? I don't know, but she came in here talking about how you took her money. What did you tell her? I didn't say anything to her, but my stupid eye gave it away. Alice, what did you tell her? I, I just gave her your address. Oh shit, Alice, how did you manage to do that? You know, so she can get anyone to tell her anything. Ugh. I gotta go find a place to hide my money. Let me come with you. You have caused enough trouble. I know, that's why I would feel terrible if something else happened. Fine. Please. Hurry up.
trying to open a salon with that money. Well, that's not going to happen because I'm not going to give her the money. Sarah, this is Mama V we're talking about. You can't take her money and get away with it. I'm not that scared little girl anymore, so let her try and put a finger on me. here. What? Open the door, Alice. One step closer and I swear I will burn the shit out of you. Curling iron? Bitch, please. Ah! I'm at 265 Collington Street in Mattapin. My, my friend is being attacked. I just, they're upstairs. I heard screams. I need somebody to come here. I don't know. I just, I heard screaming. You better not let your mother find out about this. 